The walls of the abdominal cavity are lined by a thin serous membrane called the peritoneum. This membrane is divided into two layers, the parietal peritoneum, which lines the abdominal walls, and the visceral peritoneum, which covers the organs. The two layers of peritoneum are separated by a thin film of serous fluid for lubrication that allows organs to move against each other without friction. The peritoneum forms a cavity that encloses the following organs of the abdomen, liver, except for the bare area, gallbladder, spleen, stomach, ovaries, and majority of intestines. In males, the peritoneal cavity is a closed cavity. But in females, it communicates with the exterior through the uterine tubes, uterus, and vagina. The peritoneal cavity includes the greater sac and lesser sac, omental percy. The greater sac is located between the inner surface of the anterior abdominal wall and the outer surface of the abdominal viscera. It is bounded by the parietal and visceral peritoneum, and it communicates with the lesser sac through the epiploic foramen of Winslow. The lesser sac is located primarily between the posterior surface of the stomach and the posterior abdominal wall. Numerous folds of peritoneum extend between organs, serving to hold them in position and at the same time enclose the vessels and nerves proceeding to each structure. These folds or double layers of peritoneum are termed mesentery, omenta, and peritoneal ligaments. The mesentery is a double layer of peritoneum that encloses the intestine and attaches it to the abdominal wall. The mesentery serves as a route for blood vessels, lymphatics, and nerves, to reach the small intestine. An omentum is a mesentery or double layer of peritoneum that is attached to the stomach. The normal omentum is usually imperceptible on routine scans, visible only when fluid is present. The greater omentum is a fat-laden fold of peritoneum that drapes down from the greater curvature of the stomach and connects the stomach with the spleen and transverse colon whereas the lesser omentum attaches the duodenum and lesser curvature of the stomach to the liver. Numerous peritoneal ligaments serve to connect an organ with another organ or abdominal wall. These peritoneal ligaments are not ligaments in the classic sense, but are distinct regions of mesentery connecting the structures for which they are named. Three regions of the greater omentum that are characterized as peritoneal ligaments are the gastrocolic, gastrosplenic, and gastrophrenic. These ligaments attach the greater omentum to the transverse colon, hilum of the spleen, greater curvature and fundus of the stomach, diaphragm, and esophagus. Ligaments of the lesser omentum include the hepatogastric, and hepatoduodenal, which serve to connect the stomach and duodenum to the liver. Ligaments associated specifically with the liver are the round ligament ligamentum tears, falciform ligament, and coronary ligaments. The round ligament is a remnant of the left umbilical vein of the fetus and runs within the free inferior margin of the falciform ligament to the umbilicus. The falciform ligament extends from the liver to the anterior abdominal wall and diaphragm 
forming a plane that divides the liver anatomically into right and left lobes. The falciform ligament provides the structural support that attaches the upper surfaces of the liver to the diaphragm and upper abdominal wall. The coronary ligaments surround the superior pole of the liver and attach the liver to the diaphragm, forming the margins of the bare area.